safe, informed, connected. This is News Channel 5 This Morning. Good morning to you. 8 a.m. on this Saturday morning game day, of course. I'm Jennifer Krause, and we're glad you're with us. We're going to start this hour by getting a check of the forecast from Nikki D. Ray, who's out at Nissan Stadium already cheering on the Titans, and hopefully Titan Fever will warm things up there today. I sure hope so, because it is freezing out here, but we got a lot of warm hearts for sure. People have been walking up to the stadium, getting things ready to go. There's so many people that come out so early to get in preparations for the game. So it's really amazing to see the excitement, even if people are going to be working today. Of course, we've got Storm 5 Titan out here. Jordan's with me as well. He's been a big Titans fan for a while. So we are forecasting a big old win. Temperatures, though, are pretty chilly. We're coming in this morning in the teens, and that's where we're going to sit over the next few hours before we will notice a nice warm up. And when I say warm up, I'm talking comparative. Actually, right now we got up to 20. I'll take that as a win. 19 right now over in Lebanon to start the morning. Look at all that sunshine. It is just pure bliss. The Power 5 radars completely dry. What you're seeing that looks like snow, that is actually ground clutter. I mean, we don't even have a cloud out here this morning. Right now in Clarksville, you're coming in with your temperature in the teens. 15 for you, 11 in Crossville. You head your way over to Fayetteville, 17 with 13 in Bowling Green. A little bit of wind goes a long ways when it comes to these cold temperatures, still feeling like the single digits in a handful of spots. So heading throughout lunchtime, I look for us to be in the upper 20s to low 30s. Our afternoon high today will top out briefly at 39, but don't get too attached to it because it's going to feel as if right around freezing all day long. But the boys in the two-tone blue have been practicing in this cold weather. They are ready for what is to come and we'll take on Cincy for sure. I right, more on your seven-day forecast, including a day that is above average, but it only comes around once in this seven day. Those details, Jennifer, are coming up. Sounds like something to cheer about, Nikki D. Thank you. And it is time to tighten up. The Tennessee Titans, of course, are taking on the Cincinnati Bengals this afternoon. The game starts at 3.30, and it will determine whether it's the Titans or the Bengals heading to the AFC Championship. News Channel 5's Amelia Young is outside of Nissan Stadium as well, and I know a lot of fans were excited to hear yesterday about the return of number 22. Yeah, Jennifer, I mean, what? how exciting to, for that to happen right here before this really big playoff game. Derrick Henry is going to be back on the field, making this game even more exciting for fans just to see one of the best players in the game back on the field and on our team for that. Now, Derrick Henry missed the final nine, team, nine games of the season with a broken foot, but has spent the last couple of weeks practicing, gearing up for this big return. Fans have been beyond ready to cheer on their team, selling out tickets even before a date, time, or opponent was even announced for today's game. So if the Titans win today, they'll be right back here next Sunday for the AFC Championship game and a chance to go to the Super Bowl. This is the first time since 2008 Tennessee has been the AFC's top seed, and having that spot means we get home field advantage. The Sky Deck at Assembly Hall is hosting a big rooftop watch party just blocks away from the game. It's free, but fans are encouraged to arrive early if you do go. And let's not forget about parking. It's going to be a headache down here and almost impossible. So if you're looking for alternative options, WeGo is offering a train to the game. It's going to leave from Lebanon at 1 o'clock. It will stop at Hamilton Springs, Martha, Mount Juliet, Hermitage, and Donaldson before getting to the riverfront at 2. The train back leaves the riverfront to get home about 45 minutes after the game. And the round-trip tickets for the Titan Express are just $15. So an easy way. You don't have to park downtown. You don't have to worry about it. Coming up in the next half hour, all these fans in town for the sold-out game it means a really busy weekend for the tourism industry here. We'll have the latest numbers and just how many folks are going to be here in Music City coming up in a few minutes. Send it back to you guys in the studio. All right, Amelia, thank you. And we're going to have some fun with this one. We know, of course, that the Titans are going to win this afternoon, right? So News Channel 5's Jason Lamb wanted to help Bengals fans out with some advice on how they can cope with today's loss here in Music City. We are a helpful bunch in Nashville, always looking out for each other, even if someone's rooting for the wrong team. So listen up, Bengals fans. We've enlisted the help of Titans Nation for some advice on coping with grief tomorrow after your loss. First of all, fans say there's no better place to stay in denial 
than in Nashville. Stay in town as long as possible. Enjoy that loss with a bunch of winning fans here in Tennessee. We, we will love your company here. Second, try lowering your expectations. Well, I'd say to them, what did you expect? I mean, you made it this far, but you knew it had to end in Tennessee. If that doesn't work, how about expanding your friend group? Let's go, Bucks, man. Hey, best of luck tomorrow. Hey, I'm rooting for y'all, we'll man. We'll see y'all Super Bowl. I'm rooting for y'all. We'll, we'll see y'all. We'll hey. see y'all. But above all, Titans fans want you Bengals to know it's okay to just let it all out. There's a Walgreens up, up on Church Street, I think. They can get tissues there. <laughs> and we're not endorsing this, but fans on Lower Broadway say there's always the more immediate coping method. Drink a lot. Ah, I was going to say the same <laughs> Drink a lot. And if all else fails, Titans fans say it just leaves more time to plan things out for next time. This is some of the advice I, I can give them, you know, Plan better in the draft. That's all I'm going to say. Just plan better in the draft. Some coping techniques offered with no therapist required. Bengals fans can take it for what it's worth tonight, free of charge. Get ready for next season because the L is coming tomorrow. That's, that's, that's all the advice I have for those guys. That was Jason Lamb reporting. Well, you've probably heard that there is a critical blood shortage across the country right now, and that's why this week the Titans called on fans to roll up their sleeves and potentially save a life by giving blood. You know, the Red Cross has a, has a reserve shortage of blood, which is the lowest that they've seen in almost a decade. And, uh, you know, with all the eyes on us uh, with the playoffs here and uh, having a platform to, to really try to push things out and, and, you know, come back and serve the community, this was a great opportunity to partner with the Red Cross uh, to, uh, you know, get something done that's very impactful that'll serve the entire community. The week-long blood drive ended yesterday, but you can always donate through the Red Cross. If you give it any time this month, you could win tickets to the Super Bowl. Donors will be automatically entered into a contest for a getaway to Los Angeles for the big game. They'll also get a chance to win a home theater package, a $500 Eek gift card as well. Check out the Red Cross's website for more information. And if you want to watch today's game, of course, you can go to your favorite sports bar or just watch it from the comfort of your own heart, home. No matter where you watch, you'll want to be near a TV at 3.30. That's when kickoff is. And you can catch it right here on News Channel 5. And then make sure you stay tuned to News Channel 5. After the game, we're going to have a one-hour special post-game road to the championship show with highlights from the game, fan reaction, and a look at some of the watch parties. That starts right after the game around 7 p.m. And coming up on News Channel 5 this morning, investigators are still searching for answers after a nursing home fire injures more than a dozen residents.